All right, so fetch. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. What you need to do is to learn this concept is obviously you'll need a bird. You'll need some form of reward. It can be, you know, millet, sunflower seeds, dehydrated fruits, like a banana chips, or I'm using nuts because that's something I know she's really going to work for and hopefully it'll make this video run a bit smoother. Um, you're also going to need something for them to fetch with. I have a little orange ball that came with the playset. It's got X's that go through it so they can grab it. But you can also take a piece of cardboard and you can cut out in the shape of a circle and they'll go after that just fine. And you're also going to need a clicker. It's not 100% necessary, but I find they learn a lot faster when they've got a clicker. It helps them really make the connection of what they're doing correctly at that exact moment of time, rather than saying the word good. ZB fetch. Thank you. Um, I just need a bit of a brat. Um, sorry, so the clicker, it really captures that exact moment when they've done the correct action versus you saying good, it, there's a lot longer time span between you start the G and you hit the D. So there's a lot more things that have happened at that time before they fully understand what they've done correctly. So the clicker just makes it more precise and helps them learn a bit faster. So what you're going to do to teach fetch is you're just going to take the object, you're going to get them used to it for a couple of days or however long it takes, and you're just going to put it down next to them and, you know, let them pick it up, play with it, throw it, do whatever, and reward them as soon as they lift the thing off the ground. So ZB, good girl. That's all she's got to do is pick it up and she'll get a treat. You click as soon as the thing lifts off the ground. And then you're just, yeah, you're just going to keep doing that. And so they know as soon as they pick it up, they've done something right. And you'll see them, like, come by guys, they go straight for it and they pick it straight up. That's their first motion. Because they get rewarded for that. <clears throat> and then what you're going to do is you're going to start putting your hand into it. And this is where kind of the whole bringing the ball back to you thing kind of thing happens. Is you're going to put it down next to her. As soon as she picks it up, shove your hand underneath it. And wait for her to drop it. And the goal is to kind of catch the ball. And you're gonna let her mess up a couple times. So you're gonna put it down, and she's gonna she's gonna drop it. Okay, but she just dropped it. I think it's off camera. And but you're not gonna reward her or your bird because it it hit the ground. That's not what you want it to do. So you're gonna let them pick it up, and she dropped it on the ground. So she's not gonna get rewarded for that. But if you let her pick her up and catch it under your hand, and this helps them tell tell the difference between what they've done right and what they've done wrong, you have to make sure you let them screw up a couple times. See? Oops, I clicked, I shouldn't have clicked. But she dropped it, so she's not going to get rewarded. And you're just going to keep doing that until they start to understand it goes in the hand. And then what you're going to start to do once they know that is you're going to move your hand a little bit farther away. So they're going to have to stretch to get it in there. And they're going to start making the connection that it has to go in this hand, that's what i got to do. And I mean, you can't move your hand all the way over here right away. You gotta kind of put it next to them a little bit farther away and just keep going with that until they get the hang of it. And then once they understand taking it and putting it into you, into your hand, you can start working on distance from the thing. So you can start putting it behind them. You can start putting it, you know, just beside them so after stretch. You can work on getting it just a little bit farther away each time until they can walk the big distances. And that's really all you gotta do to teach. Fetch. It's not, it's not overly complicated to learn. The hardest part is trying to catch the ball because some of them will learn to just pick it up and just throw it across the room and that can be a pain in the butt to work with. But you just gotta stay focused and they will get the hang of it eventually. Yep. But yeah. Just takes time. Right out of the way. Right here. Okay. Good girl. And just repetition. That's it.